Hi, good morning. So this is Deepak and today is Wednesday and uh, I'm here um, uh, answering your questions. Some of these questions are coming from um, readers of You Are the Universe, Discovering Your Cosmic Self and Why It Matters. Uh, my book was written uh, along with uh, Maynard Scafatos, uh, who's a quantum physicist, climate change expert, and cosmologist. Uh, he was my co-author, and I am, of course, grateful to all of you um, for supporting the book and asking the questions. So you can send questions either on that uh, anything from the book or any other question <clears throat> and the questions come to info at jio.com info at jio.com I'll repeat um, please uh, send your questions uh, to info at jio.com once again info at jio.com info at jaya.com. So uh, I'm going to answer the question from Leah Moss today, but I should also add that the questions end up in a queue. I answer one question a day, do my best to answer one question a day, and I do them in the order that I receive them. <clears throat> so. Today's question is uh, from Leah Moss and she says, when we die, do we all reincarnate in a new form? Is there a choice to continue on as pure formless consciousness instead of being reborn into form? Thank you, Deepak. Leah Moss Parham. Okay, so I need to answer this question on many levels. Let me just uh, speak on a totally common sense um, um, level, okay? Totally common sense level. Um, the universe is essentially a recycling process. Uh, we can say definitely that the planet, planet Earth, is a recycling process process and what recycles is the entire ecosystem at all levels so we know that uh, matter recycles right that's why uh, after you <coughs> eat food at a fast food at the airport or elsewhere there's a recycling bin where you can put your waste and then it will recycle. So matter recycles. Uh, number two, energy recycles, right? We know that. It's um, that uh, according to a fundamental law of physics, energy cannot be created or destroyed, um, but it can be transformed. So energy recycles. Number three, um, information recycles. All the information that we have today has been recycling and then of course in, as information recycles, it also evolves into new forms of information, right? Uh, because we have more information today than we had a thousand years ago. So information recycles. Well, how about going a little uh, deeper and asking the question if everything recycles, even plastic over a long period of time, and then uh, should consciousness be the exception? Um, um, if so, why? Does not consciousness also recycle? Consciousness recycles as, as um, ways of thinking, ways of perceiving, ways of uh, feeling, ways of storytelling, etc. So, um, it's 
very obvious that uh, um, cultural stories, cultural myths, cultural ways of thinking, cultural ways of feeling, cultural ways of thinking recycle but also evolve because uh, consciousness is constantly evolving uh, as well as recycling as um, new ways of thinking, perceiving, as uh, new ways of creating, new ways of imagining, etc. So, um, if you replace the word recycle with the word reincarnate, incarnate simply means to take form, then I think we'll agree that there is every basis to think of reincarnation as real. But um, Leah's question uh, raises other issues and that is when she says when we die we all reincarnate into new form. Do we all reincarnate into deform, a new form? And so let us um, uh, try and understand what uh, the word we means. What is the <coughs> we? What or who is the we that is asking the question? And who is the we that uh, reincarnates, if it does? Uh, but it's clear that um, uh, that is a very legitimate question and that we should uh, answer it. So uh, if you give me 15 seconds, I'll do what Facebook uh, wants me to do as um, part of my offering this podcast every day to you, free of charge, and uh, Facebook allowing us to do this also free of charge. So back here, <clears throat> and um, what um, I was saying is, who is the we, or who's the I that is asking the question? What is the I that is asking the question? Do we reincarnate? And um, then, um, do we? have um, basically um, answered only part of that question. Okay. The I is um, both absolute and relative. So consciousness is both absolute and relative. Absolute consciousness is a fundamental reality, uh, a field of all possibilities, a field of uh, infinite creativity, constantly evolving, self-regulating, self-organizing, taking uh, leaps of creativity and then evolving as species of consciousness. I've said this before, that we as humans are a species of consciousness. All species, all sentient beings uh, are species of consciousness. So these species of consciousness are not absolute. They are symbolic representations of absolute consciousness. As a species of consciousness, your core being is um, some uh, speck of consciousness that has uh, been conditioned into an individual identity, which we call I, the ego self or jiva. And that jiva is also um, a potential for arising and subsiding of sense perceptions, sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, human constructs, and then the stories created around human constructs. So we know just from simple observation that ways of perceiving, thinking, uh, feeling, um, ways of creating constructs and stories are recycling. So core being is reincarnating. Core being itself is only the potential for recycling 
and uh, core being um, recycles then as those same modes of knowing, perceiving, thinking. That is the jiva. So at one level, the recycling or reincarnation of individuals um, is true. On another level, that's uh, really an assumed identity, a symbolic representation of absolute consciousness, uh, which is <clears throat> all of it, all of it recycling into or reincarnating into similar modes of feeling, thinking, uh, constructing reality and um, organizing it into an evolutionary stream through the evolution of species of consciousness. So at both levels, it seems, recycling is happening. Also, the journey from form to formlessness is a journey without distance because um, consciousness doesn't go anywhere to recycle or reincarnate, it just um, modifies itself as modes of uh, knowing, thinking, feeling, perceiving. So all that a while it remains non-local, which means formless, while appearing as local, which means as form. And that's happening right now, right this moment when you fetch a thought, when you experience an emotion, when you uh, recycle a memory or a story or a feeling or a relationship, you're actually going back to the formless to create that experience as form and phenomena. So we are constantly doing it. Uh, in fact, the form is not possible without the formless. They go together. Form and formlessness um, is the cycle that I previously also called uh, dooby dooby do. Okay, do is the aspect of form and be is uh, <coughs> the aspect of um, formlessness. We're all dooby dooby doing all the time. But um, um, here's another aspect to Leah's question. Is there a choice to continue on as pure formlessness? Well, that choice can come if you cease um, uh, identifying yourself with, um, with all the stories and all the relationships and the meaning and purpose that's derived from those stories and relationship. In other words, if you have uh, detached from all that you identify with, then uh, it's very possible that you can abide in pure consciousness and incubate there till such time as there's the impulse to recreate again. But um, that impulse is always there in any uh, state of pure being or pure consciousness or pure equilibrium. As soon as it's disturbed, the impulse to create occurs again. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna uh, talks uh, uh, about this. Uh, there's a beautiful phrase uh, in Sanskrit, Prakritim Swam Vashtabhai Vishrajami Puna Puna. I'll repeat it. Prakritim Swam Vashtabhai Vishrajami Puna Puna. Curving back within myself, I create again and again. I curve back within myself, create the experience of mind, body, and ultimately the entire universe. Why? Because that is my nature. It's the essence uh, of uh, nature. It is inherent in consciousness to be conscious and it can only do so by 
splitting itself into the subject and object of experience. It is inherent in consciousness to be conscious and it becomes conscious through form and phenomena. It is inherent in consciousness to be creative and it does so as an evolutionary stream of form and phenomena. Okay, Eric and all of you who are sharing this video with others, thank you very much and uh, thank you all for participating every day in this conversation and uh, I feel great delight in sharing these insights with you and getting your feedback as well. So I hope uh, I answered uh, Leah's question. I would love to know from you, do you uh, feel if reincarnation is real? I'm waiting for you to answer. Do you think if reincarnation is real? Baby child says reincarnation isn't real. Okay, so for you, everything I said didn't make sense. Uh, Lulu Clearwater says, uh, thank you. Veronica agrees. Michelle Shoshana shared the video with many, as did 46 others at the same time. Solongo Klawitter says, thank you, thank you, Solongo. Do you feel reincarnation is real? Kathy Samogi says, yes, it is. Uh, Teresa Badi says, yes, very real. Ranjit Singh, I'm a drop of in the ocean. Agree, the drop recycles. Water never goes away. Nadia says Namaste and thank you. Andrea Al says thank you for your books, enlightening. Um, Anne Marie um, wants to know if we see loved ones. Yes, everything changes form and phenomena, but the context, the relationship, the meaning uh, does recycle. Okay, I think um, we're all um, set for today. I am uh, very grateful, everyone. Ellen, thank you for sharing, and so many others are sharing. This expands our conversation. And before I end, I want to say thank you again for supporting You Are The Universe, discovering our cosmic self and why it matters. At this time, also let us um, 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 let us um, send our prayers to everyone in Florida and those who are returning home after Hurricane Harvey. And let us be uh, not so foolish that we deny the connection between climate change, human activity, destruction of ecosystems. Um, climate refugees, human suffering, migration, so many things all sh interdependent. Supriya Pat Patel, thank you for sharing this and thank you everyone and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Yes, Susan Blanda uh, sending a shout out to Louise Hay. She was a dear friend for over 30 years and she's in my awareness as well. Okay, share this video with others and get their opinion as well. God bless.